Stephanie DeRuzzo, and today I will be presenting the phylum Cycliophora, which consists of the marine microscopic animals. These two images were taken using electron microscopy. Um, these microscopic marine animals have recently been discovered. They were first discovered December 14th, 1995, by Peter Frunch and Reinhard Christian. The name Cycliophora comes from the Greek roots of wheel-bearing, due to their ciliated mouth ring. They also are the only marine crustaceans found in the northern hemisphere. Um, they, this is also the first evolutionary branching for bilateral animals. Um, when it comes to their ecology, they are the hosts to the Norway, American, and European lobsters. They form a commensal relationship with the lobster because it attaches to the setae and filters small food particles using its ciliated mouth ring. It has been shown that they can be parasitic by clogging the lobster setae, but their overall relationship is commensal. When it comes to their phylogeny, they are in the gen genus Symbion, and there is only two known species. The first is Symbion pandora, and the second is Symbion americanus. Um, their phylogenetic position in the animal kingdom still rema remains unclear till today. There has been possible relative, there has been considerations to place them next to phyla ectoprocta and endoprocta, which could be possible relatives to the symbion. Recent genetic studies show that the symbion may be closely related to the Nathifera. Being a colomates has suggested that the cycliophora should be placed close to the platyhelminthes, but new research has suggested otherwise. The strongest hypothesis of where to place these animals is to be the sister group to the colomates, endoprocta, due to its rotting chamber and bud generation. Um, a study has been done on the similarities of the rotifers versus the cycliophora due to their triple elastic relationship. Um, what this study did was compare the 18S RNA and the results showed that the rotifers and the cycliophoras have similar digestive tracts and that both of them have an anus located inside their tentacular crown. The only characteristic that can't link these two together is the absence of a mastex in the cycliophora because the rotifers have always had one. When it comes to the general body plan of the cycliophora, they do have a well-developed nervous system with a brain and nerve ganglia. They do have muscles, but no sheaths. They have a distinct head and trunk, a defined cuticle that is secreted by the epidermis. They do have several distinct larval stages, which I will get into later, and they do have two cell layers that consist of tissues and organs. When it comes to their anatomy, they do have a U-shaped gut. They have no excretory system, and their body is divided into an anterior buccal, middle oval trunk, and posterior adhesive disc. Their anus is located outside the ciliated feeding apparatus, and they do have the ciliated ring to move water, which is how they feed. They do have a hydroskeleton and an anterior ganglion from which nerves emanate. Um, this image is just a image of the Symbion pandora, which just shows that it is attached to the lobster setae, and this is the adhesive disc that um, allows it to attach. This is the compound ciliated mouth ring, and this is where the uh, brain is located. Um, they are approximately 350 micrometers in length and 100 micrometers wide. They are acolmate metazoans with bilateral symmetry. They do suspension feed by water currents. Their sessile stage is the feeding stage with well differentiated cuticle and cellular epidermis and they do gas exchange by simple diffusion. When it comes to the cycliophorans, their life stage is very difficult because it hops between asexual and sexual stages. The most prominent stage is in the asexual stage, which is the feeding stage, and it is attached to the setae of the host lobster's mouth parts. In the asexual stage, it first houses the Pandora larvae, and the second houses the male and female inside the broading chamber. Internal budding then takes place. This is when the buccal funnel and digestive tract is lost. A new bud arises from embryonic cells producing only 
a new buccal funnel, and digestive tract, and then this process is repeated several times. When it comes to the sexual stage, the male or female is inside the body of a feeding stage. The male is released from the broading chamber with a tubular centrical penis, and then the fertilization of the egg occurs um, inside the female during the release of the female from the broading chamber. This image just uh, visually, is, is visually uh, shows the sexual and asexual stages. As you can see, um, it has to, the cycleophora has to be attached to the new host in order to start going into its asexual phase and then into the sexual phase. When it comes to the habitat and distribution, they are exclusively in the nutrient-rich and cold environment on lobster sitae. They are found on the Norway lobster in the Mediterranean Sea. They also have been recently discovered on lobsters in the American Northeast coasts of Massachusetts and Maine and also the western coast of Europe. Um, so far, there has been no economic role that has been found in the cycleophorans. Another study was done to um, compare the symbiotic relationships and the feeding biology of the symbion Pandora. Uh, this study tested the isotopic activity on the mouth part of the lobster. Um, so this, the results showed that the cycleophora feed exclusively on higher food quality particle and suspended matter. They become dependent on their host to feed on high concentrations of food particles. And the overall study showed that the cycleophoras have developed sensory mechanisms to synchronize their food supply with the feeding activity in the hosts. And other, this compares to other sessile feeders because they only feed uh, the water column continuously by seeding. Some fun facts is that Peter French reported that S. Pandora, uh, the population densities can range from 200 to 500 per mouth part. Um, also that their cilia consist of single cells but multiple nuclei. My first question is a multiple choice question and it is that cycleophoras are suggested to be in the phylogenetic position of protostomia and are considered a colmate. Which phylum have we learned about in class that would suggest to be a sister group to the cycleophora? The correct answer is D, platyhelminthes. The second question is an open answer, and it is the phylogenetic position in the animal kingdom remains unclear, but there are many hypotheses of where scientists believe the cycleophora should be placed. Why is this phylum so unique? What makes the species so complicated when trying to relate it to other types of species with similar characteristics? My answer to this question is that um, this phylum has a very complex life cycle, which makes it different from other animals. The complex life cycle has both stages of asexual and sexual. The asexual has two types, one consisting of Pandora larvae and second housing the male and female inside the broading chamber. Also, internal body, budding is involved, and in the sexual stage, the male is released from the brine chamber and fertilization occurs um, in the egg of the female. The larva is free swimming, and they settle close to the parent individual to form the new feeding stage. This species is very complicated when trying to relate it to others because, it's, because it is very close to platyhelminthes, but also shows similarities um, to the rotifers. This makes it very hard to classify the cycleophoric uh, phylogenetic position in the animal kingdom. And that is my work cited.